I would like to show you how to create the how to start the new SDC verifier file from Workbench. So uh, we're using uh, Workbench 19.2. We already have some model. This is actually our tutorial model. You can uh, download it on the software and uh, on the sorry on the website and in the tutorials chapter and try it yourself. Um, so uh, as I told. After the SDC verifier is, is installed, you have the code checking and reporting tab, and you have the SDC verifier icon here. You can simply drag it to your work, workbench project on the model, or uh, well, wh whenever you wherever you would like to have it. Um, and after it's done, it is connected to your model. You just uh, click on it and start new SDC verifier file. When uh, the new project is created, the project wizard will appear. It helps you to fill in all the data of your calculation and uh, for the future reporting, uh, for the future progress of, of your uh, calculation, you can skip this, finish this and uh, set up the things uh, later. But if, uh, yeah, we are going to do this now to show you how, how sh quick it is. So uh, we, have the, we have to fill in some details like the number of the project and the name. Then you um, are already uh, given the possibility to select the unit system for your calculation. We will use uh, meter, kilograms, and seconds. And uh, here you are. You can uh, fill in the details of uh, your company and your engineer, and as well as customer. It takes some time to do it for every project. So if you did that once, you can save it to the library, and after that load it from from the library so you have some engineers of your company you can easily fill it in as well as the database of your customers can be created so this will be displayed uh, on the first page of your report and also pictures will be in the footer of every page so it's important to fill it in and we go to the next step also we can uh, skip this and finish on uh, on every step but let's do let's do this complete wizard Jobs are uh, corresponding to the solutions in ANSYS. So here we have just one static structural calculation. If there will be more, all of them will appear here and you will be able to pick them for, uh, for using in your SDC verifier. And here we go to the load sets. Load sets can be created from, from the model, uh, from, the, uh, sorry, from the SDC verifier project, but this one is the quick and convenient way to to create it. So uh, the idea is that you can copy it from Excel or you could copy it from clipboard as well as you can create it from your uh, uh, from from this window. So the idea is you can add any amount of load combinations. And here we have all the uh, loads, all the steps we have in ANSYS. So it's gravity, some forces and some wind values. So for example, I want to create five load sets. I add five rows. Um, I want gravity to be in each of the of these cases without any factors. Then I want to have the force with the dynamic factor of 1.2, for example. In next case, I want to have this force. And in third load set, I want to have the middle force. And then I want to have, for example, this to forces copied but then with, with, with winds with winds with without any factors for example so you are able to do this one you can copy this to clipboard at any time and you can even copy this here uh, so select some rows copy it and have the new uh, set of this you just have to rename it and for example uh, set uh, different, dyna uh, different dynamic factor for your loadings or modify it in any other way. You can always edit this later on and uh, of course you're able to copy this to the clipboard and store somewhere in, in your documentation. Then you're able to create the load groups. After we created load set it appeared in the columns what we had. So we uh, have all the individual loads we had before and here we will have the load sets. We can create one envelope 
load group for example and then just include all of the cases all of the load sets we previously created we will have the envelope which will include the results of uh, all the sets we prepared um, then we have the report we can start from the empty file we can create the model description report result report or a complete document we will skip the steps uh, step and proceed to the to the SDC so I pressed finish we will skip the report wizard step uh, no and we have the SDC verifier window where the job is created with all the load sets I prepared here as I told you you're, you're able to edit this load sets modify it and you as well uh, is able to create new load sets as well as new load groups